All right. Okay, great. You got that? Going off. Got, got it. that shit, Max? Going off. We got these sung. Oh. You got that shit, Max? Oh, uh, what is that? In case you haven't I don't have one. been able to tell yet. What's that say on there? What does that say on there? <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my cologne comes he with got it from a mask. Oh my baby. god, he that's got it hilarious! You spend two hundred dollars on cologne, you get a free mask with it. I would hope so. I spent two hundred dollars. You ready for a dad joke? Yeah. I spent two hundred dollars on a mask and got some free cologne. There with you it. go. Hey. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take <laughs> oh this off now. No. See, okay, no. As a matter of fact, leave it. What are you doing? Megs can confirm for me. Megs, how good do I smell? Real good. Real good. Yeah, you know we, what? Your man could smell this good, too. Well, he probably should. If he got on a Daniel Hosier train. Or from my Canadian brothers, Daniel Hoser. That's another dad joke. I'm off, I'm off the fucking wall today, Holy baby. Holy shit. I'm off the wall. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the What Are We Doing podcast. My name is Levi. This is Justin. Megs is over there, too. And yeah. this week... Justin has uh, basically confirmed he's going off the rails. I'm going off. We're going off this week. I'm we going got, off. We got a lot to talk about. First off, what'd you do this weekend? What did I do this weekend? Uh, what did we do this weekend? Probably mm, nothing. Probably a whole lot of nothing. We got some plans next weekend though, but this weekend was this weekend was a chill kind of fly by the pants of our seats what did you do this weekend I'm so glad i waited for that story that was a good one um so what i did this weekend it was halsey's birthday yes we went to lancaster yes took a little two-day trip okay we don't take vacations we go an hour away so that we're, when we're done with our vacation we can drive an hour back and not be in the car for six fucking hours that's Ain't true. that smart? Yes, we're smart. We're ahead of the game. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, we go to Lancaster. Yes. Where did we stay? Where? The Wyndham Resort. Okay. I don't want to name these people by name because shit's going to get real for them. But the Wyndham Resort. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Anyway, here we go. The hotel was actually pretty nice. And it better have been for fucking $200, $250 a night. A night? A night. Over 100 a night. Over, oh, Double that and add half. What do we pay for that one up uh, up in Harris Indigo? <clears throat> one thirty. Yeah. Or the one that we just stayed in Baltimore was like one thirty a night. Yeah. But the one in in the middle of Baltimore, nice ass hotel, one thirty. Bruh. Two hundred a night in Lancaster. One thirty yeah. is already too rich for my blood. <laughs> right. So you know where I'm at. Okay. At two fifty. So everything Max, needs check to be my perfect. levels. Am I okay? Because I feel like I'm not as loud as Levi, but I'm usually louder anyway. So we might be okay. What no are you two? I'm probably number two. Probably. You're almost Levi's Mike, up. Check one, two, one, two. Levi's Mike, up check higher. One, two, one, two. Uh uh. Do you want to go check. up? No, no, no. Uh, if if we're about the same on the green yeah, bars, like that's fine. It's good. Oh, we'll do it again because I it's, wasn't paying attention. Mike check. One, two, one, two. Mm -hmm. Mike check. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Uh, yeah. We're about the same? Yeah. yeah. Okay, back to the weekend. He does this every episode, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. I set it up, I say it's the same, and then now, and then he questions it two minutes into the podcast, and now here we are. Everything's great, and you're hearing it, and you can hear it, and it's great. And it's great. And back to the Wyndham Resort, which wasn't fucking great. Oh, anyway, shit. everything was actually pretty good. Let me not talk too much shit. It's got a nice pool. Not too much riffraff. It didn't feel like a public pool while you're at the public pool, which is a big deal for me. Right. Um, I grew up at around Boys Club Pool. Bigger if, than you, if you grew up around Boys Club Pool, you know what I'm talking about. You got to kind of fight to get up the slide and kind of fight for your spot at your towel. And then don't leave your shit at your towel because it might go missing. So it wasn't really like that. It wasn't that vibe. It was a nice chill vibe. I liked it. Anyway, nighttime comes. We got a DJ. And we got a little bar outside, which was kind of nice. Even though I had rum and cokes in the room, I went outside and ordered what? A rum and coke. Went, got it, went to the pool. Listening to the DJ who went from Pitbull to Shakira to Pitbull to Shakira back to Pitbull. And then guess what? Pitbull again. Well, so, 
I was okay with the first pit bull to Shakira. The, that one rotation we're doing that's all right perfect. here. That's perfect. good. Perfect. We're on a roll. So from Shakira, you should go to Despacito by Justin Bieber. Not a bad choice. Right. We know this. Yes. Good. DJ Kitty Scratch. But what I will tell you brickle, brickle. is if you, meow, meow, if meow. you ever go somewhere without me again and the DJ has youtube ads i haven't gotten there yet levi <laughs> oh, okay sorry go ahead so not only was it pitbull shakira pitbull shakira pitbull pitbull like i said before you can check that's exactly the rotation <laughs> okay in between each of these songs <laughs> yeah. what do we have YouTube, YouTube ad. ads oh my god dude halsey knows all these youtube ads i don't know any of these youtube ads you know why because I'm a DJ, and just in case we ever need to pull up YouTube, guess who got a premium account, right. baby? We both do. So, cool. We got a DJ. We're by the pool. Everything's good. It's a decent night. Boom. We go to bed. First night, okay. Yeah. Wake up the next day. Yeah. We're on a roll, baby. All right. We're in full-blown vacation mode. Here we go. You know what we're doing? What are you doing? We're going to the outlets. Yes. We're going to look for breakfast. Spend that money. And then we're going to the goddamn outlets. Yep. We're ready to spend some money. Exactly. Where does Halsey want to go? Wendy's. That was one place we stopped, actually, yes, because we're those people who go on vacation and eat the same <laughs> shit we could have ate in your city. Halsey wants to go for to breakfast? K Jewelers. Oh, Okay. Not for breakfast. I thought we were naming breakfast. Not for, uh, no, not for breakfast. Oh, okay. I don't know where we went for breakfast. All right. Not important. You probably got cheeseburger. I don't eat, yes, probably for <laughs> breakfast. Yep. I'm going to have gout someday for sure. For sure. Um, so we go to K Jewelers. Yep. Uh, Halsey goes and looks at some jewelry, of course. The, as soon as we walk in, the people are right on us. Hey, how can we help you? Is there anything you're looking at? Blah, blah, blah. Now, shout out. Amanda at K Jewelers in the Tanger Outlets. You made my ladies weekend. You made my weekend. It was hype. You were as hype as I was about it. And you made me feel good about it. Cool. Um, went into K Jewelers. Halsey looks at this ring. Uh, says that it's this amount of money. She's like, oh, I can't really justify that purchase. Bang. What goes on in my head right then? I can justify that purchase. I can justify that purchase with love. <laughs> <laughs> so yes boom as she says no it's fine i'm thinking i'm about to i'm about to hit her with the big guns i'm about to hit her with the you know what ring it up <laughs> you know what ring it up yep but i got a better idea that's it my mind's racing bro yes my mind is moving you need to know what's going on what comes next yes surprise that's it. Hit her with a surprise. Yep. I'm going to go down to GameStop. You go to um, uh, American Eagle. Right away, my head's cooking. Yep. I said, damn. Okay. Don't say anything right this second. She writes down on the card the item number. She writes down, this is my name. Come see me if you change your mind. Bang, bang, bang. She goes to hand Halsey the card. I say, no, thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> Real yes. sly, real sly. <laughs> Halsey don't even notice when she gets back to the hotel room. She's oh. like, "Where's that? Ca where's that card?" Okay, I would have thought that was your like. She caught you. So many moments, I thought she caught me. Yep. Um. So bang, get the card. Real baller shit at this point. Do real it. romantic baller. Never done this type of shit in my life. Do it. So, little backstory. Halsey don't really love our first actual proposal story. Little deep dive. She was a few months pregnant. We were kind of in a weird, tense moment. I was very juvenile and had trust issues. She had a few trust issues, not nearly as bad as I did. And it got to the point where I was like, yo, are you ever going to cheat on me? Lock it down. No. Am I going to cheat on you? No. Well, then here's this ring. Let's get it. Let's get married. And that was a, first, that was a proposal. And that was pretty much how it went. And yes. she was pregnant. And of course, her being amazing as she is, she was like, yeah, this is fine. I love it. Ha ha ha. Made me feel good about it. But I could definitely tell it wasn't the vibe she loved. So now, two, three years later, she starts dropping hints. Yep. I don't really love our engagement story. I don't really love our proposal story. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? You only get one shot, one opportunity. Hashtag Eminem. So we go to K Jewelers. 
Boom. That's I get, it. I get my second shot. That's it. I get my second opportunity. Jesus has given Mom's you your second chance. spaghetti all chance. over my sweater. Yes. I am ready to yes. drop some money on a ring, baby. Hell yeah. So, go back to the hotel. What does Halsey say? I'm going to go lay by the pool. I say, okay, I'm going to go smoke this blunt in the car real quick. Don't worry about me. I'm going to chill. Boom. Soon as I, soon as she leaves the car, <laughs> put the card up out of my pocket. You forgot about that card, didn't you? Nope. Got my girl Amanda's name on it with her number. By the way, y'all need to change your number. Your six and your seven is switched. Fix that because I was really having some issues. Thank God for Google. Um, so call her. I say, she got the she got the other employee. I say, yo, I need to talk to Amanda. She says she's talking to some other customer. I said, this is important. I was just in there. She needs to pull that ring out that she pulled out 10 minutes ago. I'm going to be in there in 10 minutes. Tell her to have it ready. Someone was going to buy it potentially. No. You were thinking. Well, no. That was your thought? I just, I was like, no, she needs to be ready, as ready as I am. <laughs> I've never been as ready as this in my life. Everybody needs to feel the vibe I'm on right now. Yes. Boom. Walk in. Amanda sees me. She knows what's up. She knows, she exactly knows what's, what's up. Going on, Amanda. She said, let me guess. I said, you already know, Amanda. <laughs> Pop on over to this case for me. Thank you. Pop that ring out. You already know. Ring it up. Already got my name in the system. We talked on the phone. Put my name in. Here's my address. Here's my phone number. I want to come in and give you cash and walk out with a ring. No questions asked. She made that happen. Shout out to you, Amanda. That's it. No more shout outs for Amanda. You were awesome. <laughs> so. She's gotten three so far. Three. And for in free. five minutes. And you deserve it. Shout out to you, Amanda. Four. So. <laughs> I get the ring. She's hype. I tell her my little story. She's like, oh my God, that's so fucking beautiful. I'm like, yes, I know it is. I'm about to kill this shit, Amanda. <laughs> Bang. Go back to the room. <laughs> Set up the phone. Okay. Halsey's about to go, go to the pool. Yes. Literally catch her about to go to the pool. Yep. She's taking off her tank top. I said, hold on. Keep your goddamn clothes on. <laughs> I said, we need to take a selfie to remember this day. Smart. So smart. So smart. Where else do we take a selfie? By the hotel door because there's nowhere else. She doesn't know. I already got my goddamn phone set up already. Right. Bust her over to the door. Don't even give her a chance. I'm turning off the TV as we're walking over. I swear she sees me set up the phone. I'm like, she knows what's up. Yep. She knows what's up. Yep. I went and disappeared after we went and lifted the ring. She knows what's up. Had this whole little speech playing in my head. Do you know the speech that you had planned in your head? No. <laughs> you couldn't say it now. No, I okay. was running over in my head a thousand times on uh, the way to the hotel. Yeah. Soon as I busted it out, saw her face, bang, dropped it. Yep. Couldn't remember any yep. goddamn thing. Yep. Gave it to her. She wasn't expecting it. Boom. New surprise, new proposal, second chance, second opportunity. Eminem don't know what he's talking about. I'm the new best white rapper out here. Fuck with me, bruh. Second chance at romance. See, I'm already doing it. Did she say yes? No. <laughs> she said no. It was a sad, sad ending. No, she said yes. <laughs> of course she said yes. She said yes the first time and it sucked. Of course she said yes the second time when I did Hell it yeah. right. Hell yeah. Shout out. We're, we'll have a picture of everything that we posted on the screen. Yeah, I might hit y'all with a little video in there. We uh, a snippet of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, bang. Sick, man. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When what, second day? What's the date? Who knows? Okay. When we're when we're out of the wedding industry. <laughs> Who's gonna be your DJ? Um, probably. Uh, great, oh. <laughs> great, great choice. I was just bitching to Megs about him the other day. Just this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this out. Okay. No, 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 fuck it. Um, just bleep. His definitely name. bleep the name. Bleep okay. The name. So. Second night, same pool party, same DJ, suck just as much. Um, we go to sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night, both nights, have trouble. I don't sleep in other people's beds great, obviously, uh, in a hotel with somebody else's bed. So, I go to reach in the fridge. I've lived in a city a long time. Yes. I've had little friendly, friendly, friendly guys running around the, the house at night that we didn't want there. A tan cricket nymph. <laughs> That might have been better than what I saw. That's what was out front. If you watched last episode, you see. Is that what that was? It's a tan cricket nymph. Well, what I saw was a cockroach. Oh, great. In my room. Great. Around my fridge. Awesome. That I had been having open drinks in. Yep. 
And Halsey had a piece of cheesecake in. Oh, the cheesecake. And it was very, very upsetting. Not shocking. I've seen them before. It is what it is. So, but, and tell me if I'm wrong here. You spend $200, $250 a night. You yes. don't expect to run into no fucking cockroaches. No, no, not at all. Um, anyway, I was lucky enough to get a picture of the cockroach right by the mini fridge. What do I do? I go to the front desk. Yes. At checkout. Yes. We leave early at 8 a.m. Because as soon as Halsey wakes up, I say, hey, guess what? Cockroach is in the room. We got to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, go to the front desk. Now, if you know me, I'm pretty non-confrontational in general. Um, I don't let certain shit slide, but I wish I was a little more pushy in certain moments. This is one of those moments I wish I was a little more pushy because we're checking out. She said, how is everything? I said, well, the funny thing about that is, and then slid the phone on the desk. (laughs) I said, uh, we found your little creepy crawly friends last night. What'd she say? She said, Oh, oh, oh my goodness. That's, that's terrible. Oh, oh my goodness. Yep. 30 seconds. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. Anyway, it looks like you have $36 charged to your room from food and drinks from around the hotel. Do you want a receipt for that? Bitch, I want you to get fucking rid of it. Like you should get rid of the fucking cockroach in my room. What do you mean, dude? Hey, what are we doing with the hotel service? What do you mean? Do you want a receipt for your thirty-six dollar room service? I'm like, no. I of want all you to, things, bro. I want you, you couldn't to, at least comp the thirty-six dollars shit because I just. By the way, we threw away thirty-six dollars worth of worth shit because in the, our fridge yeah. because there's fucking cockroaches all around. Uh, <laughs> It's so Picture bad. here. It's so bad. It's so bad. Why would they? They didn't. She didn't do anything about it. Wyndham Events and Resort in Lancaster. Y'all fucked up big time, bro. No shout outs to you. A bad one. But shout out to Amanda. <laughs> shout out to Amanda. K Jewelers and Tanger Outlets. Yo, go give her some goddamn business, man. Yeah. So. So. How was your weekend? It, it was good. It ended kind of sour. But right. it was all right. No, no, no. It, even with that being said, me and Holly still left with smiles on our face. I left the hotel being real petty, talking like out loud. You know how I do yeah. out loud, not to her, but definitely to the public. Oh, I guess I guess I'm just going to have to make a Facebook post about this then and post this picture of this goddamn cockroach on Facebook and tag Wyndham Garden Resorts in the goddamn. You know me. Of course, they're all looking at me as I'm going out, but nobody. You know, sir, let me just... <laughs> right. Something. No, 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 no. Nothing at no, all. I mean, it was, you could tell they didn't care. They knew about it. Right. You could tell by her face. This wasn't the first this time. This was not the first time they heard morning. about this. This wasn't the first time this morning that she's heard about right this. Right across the street from the Cartoon Network Hotel, which as we were driving up, I was like, yo, <gasps> why are we not staying over there? there? Halsey's like, because there's going to be a bunch of goddamn kids in there. I said, no, there's not going to be a bunch of guys our age in there. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Do you think? I'd go there. I'd, I'd go there. there. We'd stay there for sure. I don't know. One off-putting thing is that, like, out front is Adventure Time with Jake and Finn. Mm-hmm. And that's, like, that's that's past our time. Right. So what are we talking about here? Right, are we talking right, about right. New Cartoon Network? Yeah. Or Nick? Probably. Car- Nick, Nick and Lo- Cartoon Network. One yeah. of those. Back in the day. Either fucking Ed, one Ed of and those. Eddie. Who else is on Cartoon Network? I want to see Network. some Angry Beavers on the front of your Ang- hotel. Okay, Angry Beavers is... And in the room. Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. Okay. <laughs> Angry Beavers in the room. Angry Beavers in the room. Different universe, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Megs, you yes. missed your chance. We missed our chance. I was going to start an OnlyFans because I was tired of waiting for you to start yours. <laughs> well, you know, it might still happen, but I'm not 100% sure. I only got like a month left, I guess. So if I'm going to do it, I need so to do it. So what is the actual deal here? Because I was ready to get naked for money. So what's up? So you still can. The article, the title of the article that everyone is putting out is OnlyFans to ban pornography 
October 1st. <clears throat> you have the next month ish till October 1st to stop posting pornography. And then I believe it's either November, December, December yeah. 31st or first, whatever. I don't know. Sometime, you said sometime in December, sometime in December to delete any porn off of your timeline. Oh, wow. So they have a month to stop posting and about two to three months to get their back catalog off of the site. Now, where do we want to start? The reason why this is happening or more details about what is happening? Uh, well, okay. I think I know why this is happening. They're doing like the Tinder route. We're like, no, our site's not only for fucking. It's a dating app. And they're like, okay, Tinder, why not just lean into the fact that people use your site to fuck? So, OnlyFans, in the last... Well, Patreon had the same issue, right? So, it started as like a place for artists to sell their art. Yes. But like girls got naked on there. And as long as we're telling girls that naked is art. Yes. It is art. Well, Well, that's why I was ready to sell mine too, Megs. So, so what's happening... Last year, OnlyFans made $2 billion. Yo, hit the music. $2 billion. Two hit, what music? Uh, I don't know. The, try the, the first button. The first The button? very first one. You try Listen that. Listen to the What Are We Doing podcast today. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans. That's what you should be doing for your OnlyFans. Exactly. That's that was not, a sneak peek. Without that your would, shorts on. That would be okay. <laughs> that would be okay. Meg. <laughs> You two, <laughs> done, dude. I just like I can leave my super uncomfortable dude. now. I didn't know this was a new development, and I love it. <laughs> they made two billion dollars last year. They're looking to grow from that because two billion for anyone isn't enough. So they're looking to grow. So they're looking to get investor money, and so the investor money, uh, yeah. as well as the credit card processors, are like, hey, man. There's no way. We're not investing in your porno site. So what they are verifying, what they are getting rid of is pornography. So videos, out. Masturbation, out. Nudes, photos, photos of your asshole, photos of your butt crack, photos of your titties, photos of your six pack, photos of your hard, your rock hard dick are still okay. What about soft? Yes, that's okay too. (laughs) Nice. That's all so, I get. So nudity is still okay. The feet pics, the belly buttons, the fetishes, all that's okay. But if you post something where you are engaging in sexual activity on OnlyFans, that is what's being blocked. Now, I explained mm. this to Megs. The reason people are freaking out is because all these girls started out, oh, here's my titties, here's a picture of my pussy, here's a picture of my butthole, here's a picture of me with stuff in my shit, here's a picture of me grabbing my titties. Whoa, here's a, here's a where picture. are they at? So they started out <laughs> Send that- me some links. <laughs> <laughs> so we started out that way, but then they realized, well, I'm only making five grand a month. Okay. To make 10 grand a month, I need to post a video of me sucking my man's dick. I need to post a video of me and my man having sex. I need to post a video of me and my girlfriend eating each other. I need to. So they're elevating it to make more and more money. And that's where the issue. Okay. So these people are finding out what you literally just said to me. These people are finding out what the porn industry actually is. Yes. So they are becoming porn stars. Yes. Because what is porn? It just has to keep. Keep going, going up, right. up, 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 right. up, right. Everybody's trying to top each other. It, it just has to get crazier and crazier down this wormhole. So then. And yeah, you want to make some good money. You're going to start doing some weird shit. So, but the issue is cool. Okay. I can stop sucking dick on OnlyFans. I can just post pictures. But the issue is all these girls who made $20,000 a month for the last year through COVID because of their OnlyFans saved up a bunch of money and now they're buying four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollar houses. I don't so, see the issue with that. 
The issue with that is now they have a $500,000 house lifestyle that they have to keep up with. And they're not going to be able to keep up with that with just pictures Welcome of their titties to on the OnlyFans. Real world, baby. Right. Right. Should have saved that money. Don't spend it on a house when you're showing your titties on the internet. <laughs> hey, don't go showing your booty on the internet to 30 dudes you grew up with. And maybe you will have some real money. Hey, and save it and put it in the bank account. Don't spend it on a house you can't afford. Because when the shit ends, taxes. <laughs> yeah. Mixtape dropping soon. I get your point. So the girls, I did some research. Rumors. I mean, it's hold on. It's like any any. That's I have no sympathy for that. It's like an NFL player who gets their first big check. Yep. Spends it on a car. Spends yep. it on this that. Blah, 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 helps everybody out, and it has nothing when their Breaks knees are knee. blown out. Breaks a knee. Yep. Right. Breaks a knee, and then bam, you can't play. I'm football sorry. Anymore. You knew the risk, and it's very sad, and it sucks. But <laughs> my skin. What is going on, Lou? So, so I did some research, and rumors in the Twitter sphere are circling, and all the girls are going to Fansly, McDonald's, and Pocket Stars. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the new meme I see going around. <laughs> Only fans, girls, on October, whatever, blah blah, for, December, yeah. whatever. McDonald's hat. See, I don't think I. I just it's. By the way, I think McDonald's is hiring for like. I don't know, $13, $14 an hour nowadays, so why not? Hey. Bruh, I just saw something. I forget what it was. I think it was, I don't know if it was Hardee's. I forget what what establishment it was. But some somebody posted on Twitter, and it was like, hey, we're hiring. Sign-on bonus, $2,000. Okay, well, hey, you know like, what? Let's kind of, if you want to get into it, I was driving past a Rudders the other day. Yeah. Hiring, dude. now hiring a Rudders, nine. $19 an hour. Sheets, same thing. Sheets, regular employees, $19 an hour. Now, I haven't worked in a warehouse in a long time. Yes. I started out in warehouse work at like 17, 16, $17 an hour. Yep. That's what I've it is. also worked in Turkey Hill for a long time. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You mean to tell me I can go stand in a box and deal with people, some shitty people, some nice people? And hand down money for nineteen dollars an hour, or I can go sweat and stack boxes in the back of a truck bro, for sixteen, seventeen dollars an hour. Bro, our old beat up Turkey Hill, two minutes down the road, had a sign on their gas stations before, before COVID. This is before COVID, uh -huh. unemployment, the whole fucking thing, everything happened. They had a sign on their gas pumps. Now hiring managers, salary starting at sixty thousand dollars. Six, <laughs> six, zero. Dude. Six zero. I had to work at a company for three years and then own it to even think but about see, that okay, much money. Isn't that that's kind of scary though? Right. Because that's that like right now to us that's big money. Yeah. That's good money. You can right. live off of that. Right. Decent, easy, no problem. Right. In a year from now, two years from now, that's nothing. That's gonna be fucking nothing. Nothing nothing it's it's fascinating the whole the job the incentive i was thing. just when we were at applebee's we did go to applebee's damn shout out to lancaster applebee's fuck east york applebee's y'all are ass and your manager in there thinks she's hot shit y'all need to check yourselves anyway um applebee's i was talking to the bartender she was she was like hey i'm sorry usually we have two bartenders uh, I'm by myself. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, no problem. I get it. Blah, blah, blah. I've also worked in the food industry, so I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, she's like, we we just started talking about like the labor shortage and all that shit. And she was saying um, how like they're hiring cooks now at like uh, 18, 19 dollars an hour at Applebee's. That like bro, how 15, much? How 16 much money have was you... after working for three, four years exactly. on a line? Okay, that's what I was. Yeah, uh, three, four years on a line, you're making fifteen dollars exactly. an hour. Exactly. Bruh, and I'm standing next to the dude. We're doing the exact same thing. I'm making twelve dollars an hour. He's making fifteen. Yep. On a lot, and it's, it's just because he's been there three, four years. Yep. Now, that, like I, that's why, dude, you can make nineteen dollars an hour to start. That's sheets. To to go cook. That's sheets. But see, and like that, that right there is a difference too. I'm not saying whatever sheets, whatever cooking, whatever. I've stood over a lot of hot grills and I've also stood in a fucking box at Turkey Hill all day for a while. Standing over the grill is a lot more goddamn frustrating and difficult than standing in a box. To to make the same, Bro. doing the same at, like at either one, I'm obviously going to go stand in a box and talk to some people for eight hours and make the same amount of money. Bro, 
we know, and I'll tell you who it is after we're done here, but we know someone who we went to school with. Her husband is a manager at Sheets. Mm-hmm. How many kids they have? Four or five? Four. They have four kids. She doesn't work. He's a manager at Sheets and supports the whole goddamn family. <laughs> Supports the whole family. Four no, kids, wild, and, yeah. Four kids and a wife, a manager at Sheets. I can only imagine. He's probably making 75 grand a year. Oh, probably. It's Well, see, okay, so you know what got me out of the restaurant business? But where's you want to know that? what it was? And see, this is why this is bullshit, because this was five, maybe even seven years ago at this point. Uh-huh. I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings. I was talking to my manager one day. We were just having a friendly meeting. He said... Uh, was that... F- no, 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 okay. Uh, different guy. Got it. Um, he, t- he was the GM of the store. Yes. He said, look, they've offered me an extra 20 grand to go to this other store just to be at the other store. He said, but I don't want to because I like it here. But he told me, he said, I make 100 and... <laughs> uh, no, no, okay, no, no. He said he would be making 100 something if he left. He's only making 80 something thousand there. But oh boy. Only. Oh, what a shame. Only. But okay, so, but <laughs> this is actually what got me out of the restaurant business yeah. because seven years ago, I said, oh, so if I'm in this for 10 more years, I can be in your position. But, uh, and like dealing with all the bullshit that you deal with as a restaurant manager, which is yep. a lot. Yep. Yep. And only making that yep. much. I said, no, 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 not it's, enough for me, bro. It's the bullshit that comes with it. Now, and that's me, it. seven years later, yep. hand me fucking $80,000 well, a year, bro, and it, I will take it with a smile on my yeah, face. Stupid young me was like, nah, not enough. It's a catch-22, man. I mean, th- think, I mean, but but in, so he tells you that, and in 10 years at Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah, you'll make $100,000, but that's in 10 years. Right. That's in 10 years. That's when you're, well, that's when you're almost 40. Now, with that being said, I also had a, at the same Buffalo Wild Wings, had a kitchen manager who was a year younger than me. So it's really how you work your shit, man. I was, I was, I was too tunnel vision on working on the line. Other people were tunnel vision towards being a manager. And you know what? I've actually worked with that same kitchen manager at another job since then. And he's been a fucking manager at every job since then Mm -hmm. because he won't shoot lower than that. And, but, but is he a good manager? Fuck no, but he won't shoot lower than that. But so. I would imagine going from job to job, the only reason I went from job to job after college was because the new job was giving me more money than the current job. So I'm assuming his jobs through the years as a manager, he probably worked his way up in salary. Now, of course, money's always a big deal. And the more skills you get, you should get more money for it. Right. But I've left jobs and made less money. You have, yeah. Because yep. Yep. I fucking hated the job. You've told me. Yeah. People uh, don't quit their jobs. They quit their managers and their bosses. And I agree. And you know what? I've had three jobs I've had. I've had managers who I fucking loved. Yep. One of them was Ford. Yep. And you know what? And two of the managers were actually at Ford. So right. for some reason, I had two good managers at Ford. Yes, I know two. Yep, I know. Um, yep. And the other... One was Buffalo Wild Wings. Yep. The guy I, w- I said I had a friendly conversation with because he was a straight up good dude. Right. Um, but yes, 100%. I made it a thousand times easier to work even when I hated the job I was doing Yep. because yep. I know that the guy I'm working for appreciates the job I'm doing. Is It's just a good fucking dude. Like, yeah. It makes it easy to work for him. Yeah. No. And, and appreciates the job you're doing. And that's where, I mean, that's, that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. Now, if only I had a good manager at Sparks Entertainment, we might be working on some good ground here. But I'm about to file a report with the uh, Better Business Bureau over here. Last time I checked, uh, 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 you asked me for an advance on your paycheck. What? And I didn't what? hesitate to give you that. <laughs> I had to buy a ring, guys. Yeah, I had to buy a ring, guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So I ain't got it like that. I need that 80,000, bitch. I said 28 year old me would be like, give me that 80,000. No problem. Dude. So, well, okay. So speaking of 10 years, let's think 10 years into the future. Okay. Okay. Robots. They're coming. No, they're not. They're not. Nope. No, I refuse. You refuse. I will be gone by the time robots are here. So there's a link there, Mix. So Tesla, I don't know if you know this or not. I know because I'm a nerd. Uh, Tesla just had their um, all about AI event because Tesla self-driving cars, 
Is Elon Musk taking over the world? Uh, yep. Elon Musk is taking over the world. Why would why the fuck would he come out and say these robots you can outrun them? Yes. And you can it's something so something and you can outrun them. Megs, it's okay. Just go back to the notes. Uh, we add blockers on and we don't pay for shit. So go back to the notes, Megs. Oh, you're well, going to right there. Stop doing it. Okay. So Tesla's AI day event, uh, Elon Musk announces a Tesla bot. Okay. This thing will weigh 125 pounds, 5'8 in height, so about as tall as you and I. First uh, off, no. Carrying capacity. <laughs> I'm 5'11". Okay. Well, close. And a half. It's close enough. <laughs> Speed, five miles per hour. And so Elon Musk quotes, he says, we made this so it's easy for you to run away from and overpower it. First of all, we've all seen how I do at the punching game and breaking my car windows. I don't think I'm going to overpower a robot. Not even a Tesla robot. Not even a Tesla one. How does this look for you? You like this? Well, I don't it's, have my oh, wait, prescription go back, go glasses Go back to the next on, one, the right, the right one. Oh, he doesn't have a glass on. This says here, world, uh, world built by humans for humans. And the robot, the word they're using is friendly. Friendly. It's funny that they have to make that distinction. It's a friendly <laughs> robot. Why would we have to make that as opposed to what? No, I would. I'd buy a robot. I would. I you would. would. If if Elon Musk I releases, know you fucking would, if dude. he releases no, he the wouldn't. Tesla bot, oh, he would. No, I would not let him buy a robot. <sighs> I no would. Way. That do... might be the thing he leaves you for, really. <laughs> No. He's going to no, leave no, me no, no, for a robot? No, no, no. Well, Meg, Actually, have you seen the way these robots move nowadays? Well, you know. We're getting some like pretty the, curvy robots. Go ahead, show me what we got. <laughs> well, I was... Oh. Was, oh. Okay. This is the robot dance. <laughs> robot twerk. Oh. I like that. I like it. That's all I'm saying. That's the some good pelvic action. The robot, that was actually pretty stiff like a robot, too. The robot can move like that. Just at the joints. What can you do? Can you move like that? I want to see. Give me your you best robot dance on, right Max. now. Go ahead. Do the best robot dance. No. No, I come on. I don't have one. Go ahead. Levi, hit me with it. Best robot dance right now. Best robot dance? Give me your like most, literally, your best. No, stop. <laughs> no joke. I want to know your best robot dance if this was the fucking 80s whenever the robot dance was hot oh okay so like one of these oh i'm trying <laughs> give me a real real robot Sorry. dance right now that was terrible. <laughs> Do I get the lights? Do I get the lights? You'll on get me? the lights on okay. that one, yeah. Great. I might Perfect. cut just to me and have the okay. lights on, but you know. <laughs> oh, so my robot dance wasn't great. It wasn't the best. I did like that you did one of these as a classic, right? Yep, I knew I that. Like had that. To, I knew that. I had like to be that. In That's right. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact? Okay, let's talk about this. When we met. Or maybe not even when we met, but maybe when we started like doing weddings and stuff. Mm. My dance skills from then to now, eight years later. Ooh. I remember your signature dance. Stop. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> Megs, hit me with some music. What music? Megs, don't worry. I don't have any. That was it. Just go at it in post. Just to kind of hit a button. Pull up the one video. Mariah Carey, Christmas. Uh, yeah, the mo you know, I don't like that. Meg thinks that Levi beat me in that video. Actually, well, he did. No, his moves were he pretty didn't. Great you know what that. the issue was? Is that my cameraman sucked, and his cameraman <laughs> actually knew how to keep focus on him the at whole the time. time. So at the time, I didn't know how to use the Sony camera. It was definitely the Canon T six I that we had been using for three years. But anyway. <laughs> so that's my dance, but it's improved. Since then, right? Well, give me, Would you say? What's your best signature dance right now? If we were just going to hit anything. Man, I do like, I do. So I'll do like one of, I'll do like one of these. Okay. I'll hit like the Bernie. I'll do my hands behind my back. First of all, I think I'm one out of like, not a lot at all who know how to do the wobble the right way. So I can do that now. That's Levi's in my version of the wobble. My version of the wobble. <laughs> 
apparently it's wrong, which I'm just now finding out about that Kodak didn't no, tell me about. No, it's actually pretty good. Give me your, what's your signature dance? This is ad free, royalty free. <laughs> we should be all right. This is kind of trash, but okay. <laughs> Hold on, is it gonna start? Here we go, drop. Hey, post. hey. That is it, yeah, that is it, <laughs> that is it. It's the arm, it's all about the it arms. Is. It's all about where the arms go. Oh, and that's then, it, he even <laughs> extends it when he's really feeling yeah. it, he hits it on the outside sometimes. <laughs> I've even in the DJ booth like that all the time. While Levi's doing that, I'm literally just jumping behind him back and yeah. forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin's doing the actual moves, like the fucking, like this thing that I can't do with my one leg. I try. I've, I've lost my touch as I well. Don't worry. I, as much as Kodak's tried to teach me, I can't do the Dougie. I, oh. did you know, do you know this? I don't know if you know this and I'll tell you this now. I think it might've been in at one point in my mind, a surprise, but my surprise for you at your wedding reception was on my own time to learn and master the Dougie. And then have the DJ play it and come out and show you up on the dance floor. I don't think you've ever told me that. No. <laughs> Actually? No. Um, Surprise. If you challenge me to a Dougie at my own wedding. Yes. I mean, shit would go down for sure. Okay. I, first off, I'd okay. fucking show you up on the dance floor do you wanna, for sure. Do you want to Do you want to think about what happened the last time I challenged one of your family members to a dance off? Because right now I'm one to know with your family. So I'll challenge you to well, a dance off and make it two. You can you can challenge the people around me all you want, but until you challenge the king, you ain't really challenged nobody. You know what I'm saying? Did you did you did you pick up what I just put down there, Levi? Did you oh did you pick up what I just put down there, Levi? It's right there. <laughs> oh <laughs> We're on Shout some to shit Levi. tonight. Oh, what was that? What, what was that? Shout out to Levi. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, is that got... what the new button is? No, no you're we ready? played that last week. You want to hear the new button? Turn the volume up a little bit. On the, the, which, yeah, yeah, this? First one, yep. There you go. It's that's, all the way up. Yeah, that's good. Play the Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> so Meg's, blah, blah, blah. Meg's is going to play. <laughs> has Meg's pointed out that I say blah, blah, blah quite a bit? Is that way why this is a new much. thing? We all, everyone knows. It's, it's <laughs> common knowledge at this point. So we made a button. As I was editing last week's episode, and now we have wow. blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, please hit that whenever I start like really going too far on a well, on a story. I was going to, but then I didn't want to like ruin. Uh, oh my your god! Story. Oh yes. Okay, no, I love that. I want that sprinkled in as much as possible. All if right. I start going too far, hit Sprinkle me with it. it. Blah blah blah. Just hit him with <laughs> a blah blah blah. <laughs> Oh, that's so that I great? love that. It's great. I do love that. We had that planned a long time ago. Five, six episodes ago. Oh my god. Yeah. Five or six episodes ago, Meg says you need to get a button of Kodak saying blah blah blah. Y'all motherfuckers are talking shit about me when I'm not here. I know it. I <laughs> just I was, proved it. I was going through the last episode and you said it and I thought <clears> this <throat> is perfect. Cut it up. Done. Oh. I love that. I actually do. I really like that. Now I need a fucking Levi button, actually. We have a Levi button. Play it. Shout out to Levi. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I need a different one, actually. Not shout out to Levi. Never shout out to Levi. What do you want the button to be? Shout out to Levi. Uh, fuck Levi. Yeah, that's a, yeah. When I hear that, that's all I think. Fuck Levi. <laughs> so we need someone to record the words fuck Levi. Yeah. And submit it as a button. Who sent that? What is that? Which one? Who said shout out to Levi? Oh, a YouTuber I watch. I explained this in the last episode. He, was, there's hi, a guy. There's hi. a yeah. There's <laughs> a, a guy who watches and supports his channel. His name's Levi. There's a famous. He supports uh, this channel. No, no, no. The the YouTuber's channel, um, United uh, United Hayes on YouTube. And no, no, no shout outs. No shout outs. You gave Amanda like six shout outs. Well, she deserved bro. it because Amanda was on some good shit this weekend. Well. Uh, United Hayes gave us this shout out to Levi button. And our producer walked away, so she couldn't even hit it for you at the time. She couldn't even handle it. She, she got, got a pee. pee. Listen, let's talk about business. Hey, man, when's the last time you've been in a Macy's? Macy's. Probably straight up never, dude. actually. Macy's. Probably never. Would it surprise you 
for me to tell you that their stock is on fire. It's going up. Do you want I to thought know? they closed down all their Macy's. No, apparently not. Megs and I talk about this all the time, how like Macy's, JC Penney's, Boss, Boss Cobbs, Cobbs are still in business. The Bonton. Right? The Bonton, dude. We have not in a mall. It's in a strip mall, but it's technically not a mall. We have a Bonton five minutes down the road. What? Yeah. Standalone Bonton. What? Parking lot. Every day. Packed. No way. Packed. See, I wouldn't know how to act in a Bonton that ain't in a mall. Dude, it, we... How do you even act in a Bonton that ain't in a mall? You can't, because the only way to get out is the same way you come back in. If you can't get See, out... See, I don't like that. I need two exits in every Bonton, baby. If you can't go in and then enter At the mall... At least two. I may be an upper and a lower floor as well. Exactly. Exactly. But we got a standalone Bonton, and it's doing great. Does it have two floors? <sighs> I don't know. I've never been in. I could never go in there if I don't have two floors. I've never, I don't think I it need does. an escalator in my Bonton. Even no. if it's non operational, I need an escalator. <laughs> <laughs> no, ours You is know, an, an escalator never is non functional, it just becomes stairs. Did you also know we never stop clapping? The space between claps just gets longer as we live. I've stopped clapping. No. Yes. The next time you I will clap, never ever clap be, one more time ever I'm again. I'm just saying. I've, I've, no, you will. I've stopped clapping. You will. I'll tell you why. I think because, I clapped once this episode. Yep. That's the last time I'll because, ever clap. And that's why you're going to do it again because I'm fucking hilarious. Shit. Basically, a ah, there it was. I see? couldn't even hold it. See? Damn it. The time between you claps got me. just gets longer. You got me. Anyways, Macy's. So what? That was just a really slow clap. Exactly. But. Exactly. With that being said, have I just started clapping? A slow clap. Potentially. You know what's funny? You and I try. Are we to just going to progress from here? You Exactly. See? Oh. See? See? You know what's hilarious? Do you know what I love? Do you know what, what I love? Do you what? know what I love? That was a bad joke. When we're, when we're DJing weddings what? and there's times and songs where the, everyone's supposed to clap and you and I are the only are the two only ones clapping. clapping. Like <laughs> the loudest claps in the whole room too, trying to get everybody in there. Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and literally never. No one claps. Nope. Like I think there's a Bruno Mars song. We've had a couple though. Sweet Caroline gets popping sometimes, it but just, no, it, you're right. We sometimes you and I try to start the clap and no one catches. I mean, if it on. ain't the cha cha slide, then people just ain't clapping. No, you got to be told to clap. Apparently, everybody clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Hey, everybody now, clap, 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 clap your hands. One hop now, to the left, to the right. One hop now, y'all. One hop now, y'all. One hop this time. Two hops this time. Bam, bam. <laughs> That's how it goes. It is absolutely not how it goes, <laughs> Levi. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Slide to the left. Bam. Slide to the right. Bam. Crisscross. Bam, bam. Crisscross. Bam, bam. Cha cha, real smooth. Dun, 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 Turn it out. When? Okay. Do you know the cha cha slide? Last bit, and then we'll get off it. Like how to do it? Like they tell you what to do. Well, I mean, they literally tell you. They literally but... tell you what to do. Oh, except I, for. I think I've done it once at like prom. Except for. Or high school. Do or you like, know when the when the song says, now Charlie Brown. Dun, 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 dun. Do you know what to do? No. Get the fuck out. I don't Levi. know what to do the, the entire time, even though they're telling me Get what to do. You know what? You hit me with one dance already. I'm going to bless the audience. <laughs> All right. You guys for, need to, to need to For know this anyone, is a public service announcement if you've ever been to a wedding ever been to a prom yes. ever been to a homecoming yes and you've heard the cha-cha slide do it and they say now charlie brown and you stand there and look at everybody around what, what's, what's everybody doing hey guys this is what the fuck you do just so you know all you gotta do oh that's okay charlie brown is bounce back, bounce forward, bounce back, bounce forward, bounce back, bounce forward on both feet, one in front of the other, bounce back, bounce forward. That's Slide what Char that's what Charlie Brown is. Slide to the right. Ding. Ding, ding. Cha cha, real smooth. Boom, put a boom, 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 boom. Only fans, baby. <laughs> <sighs> so. so what does Macy's do? They discover online shopping. They said, Hey, let's bring back 
for the third time from the crypt, Toys R Us. Macy's what? Is, Macy's is partnering with Toys R Us to be their online exclusive retailer. Jeffrey. Yeah. The giraffe. Bezos. Giraffe. <laughs> oh, shit. Jeffrey, We're going down a wormhole here, Levi. Jeffrey Drive. All right. Let's <laughs> actually get to it. What is Macy's doing here? They're bringing back Toys R Us again. So Toys R Us, the famous toy store, died. Because no one went to toy stores. A because very fucking sad story. Because by the way. online shopping, right? Right. So then Target says, "Hey, Toys R Us, we'll put all your toys on our website, so you can sell them and buy them, and we'll even give you three to four retail stores to see if people like it." Guess what happened? <laughs> no one fucking did anything they about it. Pooped the bed. Exactly. So now Toys R Us. Dead in the water again for the second time. First time was the original. Second time was with Target. Now Macy's coming in hot with the Toys R Us in-store online ordering. They're partnering with Toys R Us. Are you going to go to Macy's to buy your son toys from Toys R Us? No. Perfect. Me neither. (laughs) Macy's, and this is another... So glad we established that. This is another crazy fact, not to mention the Toys R Us shit. Last quarter, first quarter of 2021, quarter's only three months, they were expected to do five billion with a B dollars. We talk a lot of billions on this podcast. Five billion dollars in revenue. Last quarter, 5.6 billion dollars. They did 600 million more dollars in revenue last quarter, making them over 20 million dollars a year in revenue. I'm sorry, billion, 20 billion in revenue. What the hell? I didn't even know a Macy's was what even still a thing. What is Macy's doing to the point, because they're not in mall. Are they in the Galleria Mall? I don't think so anymore. Are they in the Capital City Mall? No, I don't think they are. I don't know. I think know. we have I a, a JC Penney's yeah, and a I Dick's. Think that's, I think that's all we have. Dick's Sporting Good is now our end, ca- our end mall store yeah. to walk through. Yeah. The classic joke for every 13-year-old. Boy playing football. We had to go buy some sporting equipment. Going to Dicks. Oh. <sighs> Levi didn't play sports, so he didn't know these jokes back in the day. He never had to go to Dicks. That's the thing. Why am I even here if Justin knows every thought that I'm thinking <laughs> at every point in time? Because that's literally what I was about to say. I just said this to her in the car. Levi was busy Why? buying tap shoes. He couldn't buy cleats. He had to buy tap shoes. Oh, and a magician hat and a cane. Shout hey. out to Levi. Hey, <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Okay. Welcome to the WB. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna fucking, oh, we're gonna. Welcome oh, to the Magician oh. Levi Sparks. Oh, okay. Well, guess what, dude? While you were playing football, yeah, tackling other boys and laying on top of them on the ground, loving it. Yep. I was in the fucking studio with two ballerinas around my arm. Do you want to get into this? So, because guess what? I also did for BYC was the first and only that I know of to this day. Male cheerleader. No. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Fucking get into it. Wait, 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 wait. Bury this memory deep in my head. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't talked about this in quite a while. Pause. Yep. Pause. Pause big time. If anybody who knows the three of us, anybody at all, whether it's been the last two years, ten years, twenty years, twenty-nine years. Out of the two of us, Levi and Justin, Megs, right now, top of the head, who would you expect to have a male cheerleader story, me or Justin? You, Levi. You were a cheerleader, bro? (laughs) Because let me tell you what, being a male cheerleader was my end goal. And you're out here. Living. It wasn't for anybody else in it, where I grew up, but <laughs> you're living my life. And I got made fun of uh, oh. uh, uh, terribly Fuck every them, game, man. every practice. Oh, well, eventually, you know what saved me? Thank God. One of the OG kids who have been playing. He was in the program. And it was just, he was cool out Parkway. He was an old head. He came walking past me one day and all the dudes was making fun of me and him alone was like, he gets to chill with girls all day. What are y'all talking about? 
And boom, that was the end of it. And that was my excuse from that day on forever until I quit because I couldn't handle it anymore. The ridicule. What did it, what did it for me was the movie Bring It On. Oh. Bro, that was like what? Meg's Google Bring It On. Bring It On. What year did that come Hope. out? The first one. Hope. It's getting cold in here. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. I said, Burr. It's cold in here. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. See, that's I why said, you couldn't be a Oh, oh, oh yo. E O. Ice, ice, ice. Break it down now. Oh. Boom, ba, na, na. Joe Budden. Boom, ba, na, na, na. Bring it down now. Dude, the first Bring It On came out in the. Don't hurt. What are you? Did you just rub the microphone on your butthole? No. No, I would never do that. All right. The first Bring It On came out in 2000. So, damn, you were a cheerleader, bro. For what? Football, I'm assuming? Uh, Basketball. Basketball. So, I sucked at basketball, so I was like, I'll try cheerleading. Bruh, <laughs> true story, true story. My parents wanted me to do sports so bad. Listen to this. They signed me up for T-ball, okay? Okay. Motherfucker, I said, T-ball. T-ball, yes. Check the chair, a bunch of stuff fell out. Okay, oh, you're yeah. about to steal my story now, matter of fact. Oh, am I? Because this is what happened to me. My parents signed me up for T-ball. Motherfucker couldn't hit the ball. Wow, he just stole my story. Bro. It's on my story. I hit the T every time. They Except kick- I said it better. You want to know why I'm better at comedy than Levi? Because I would say, you know how I knew I sucked at baseball? Because I couldn't even hit the T ball. <laughs> You're right. It's a See, little bit better. Right. It's, better. Yeah, a little, it's better. It's just lined it's, up a little bit better. You know better. what it is? I really lined it up on the T to <gasps> knock it out of the park. You know what that, you know what I'm saying? That makes it even better. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Whoa, Levi. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, so then they kicked me off the team, and so then I- Whoa, you got kicked off the t-ball team? Oh, I only went to two practices. Well, my dad was the coach, so maybe that just wasn't an option for me, but- Yeah, my dad, dad my, was the- <laughs> my dad was the coach when I played soccer, and- Oh, really? That didn't end well either. I think I quit, because all they gave us was participation trophies. Well, because y'all sucked. Exactly. Well, because my dad we was won, coach. so we got championship my dad, trophies. My dad's but. a fucking nurse. He has no business being a soccer wow, coach. Wow, Levi. Here to, he's here to save people's lives. And I'm about to medicine. go put a band aid on somebody and go kick the fuck out of a ball just to prove you wrong. So, see me, bitch. <laughs> no, no, no. So, okay. So then I did baseball. Then my parents signed, they thought, okay, well. We can't put him into the next sport right away. So let's send him to a summer camp for a sport. See if he likes it. And then we'll put him in the actual sport. Mm. They sent me to basketball camp. Mm. Okay. How'd that go? One of the rules, bring your own ball. Wait, what? Yeah, to bring your own basketball. To basketball camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They Just, didn't have basketball? It was like a thing. They said, bring. What did they supply? Well, they had balls if you couldn't bring one. But so they said, so just doesn't fucking story. They said, bring your own ball. What kind of elitist basketball camp did you go to? I said, oh, uh, uh, white people basketball. Christian school. <laughs> yeah. uh, so everyone in the class, there's probably 20 kids. Yeah. Right? I'm number 20. Number one through 19 brings a basketball. Mm-hmm. I bring. Oh, no. A mini basketball. Oh, no, Levi. With the Bugs Life characters from the oh. Disney movie A Bugs Life. I on the basketball. Oh, I didn't know it could get this bad. So I'm there in practice. Oh, shit. The only kid with an odd ball. Oh, my God. And smaller than everyone else's. Bro, I went two times. I didn't go again. Did you? Okay. The most important question. No. Did no. you bring the ball to the second practice? Yeah. The same ball? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching What Are We Doing Podcast. If you want to... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was just, I, I was never a sports guy. I was never a sports guy. Oh, shit. But you did it all. So you were. I did do it all, You yeah. were a cheerleader. Yep. You played football, right? Yep. You um you played basketball? Yep. So you. And I baseball. Mean, and baseball. And pole vault. Could you hit. And ran track. And we talked about that last time. Could you hit the ball off the tee at baseball? Uh, Like one out of 20 times. <laughs> okay. I, on the tee, I did all right. When it was actually being thrown at me, we yeah. had a real issue. Oh, yeah. well, that's what I mean. Yeah. No, I didn't even get to them. 
Bro, I still can't. If we went outside and played baseball today, if you threw the ball at me and I had to hit it, I'd, I'd probably be the same, actually. I'd jump out of the way. You know what? Juggling might have, well, I wouldn't do that, but juggling might have actually made me a little bit better at like being able to pinpoint the ball where it's at. But again, I may be full of shit. See me on a baseball field and we'll see what's up. Oh, no. Oh, guys, guess what I found out? <gasps> Uh, Levi has been a drug dealer for some time now, and I had no idea. Um, I'd just like to know, what what kind of drugs do you move, senor? <laughs> all of them. All of them. I'm talking Molly. I'm talking Brittany. I'm talking Jessica. I'm talking... A.K.A. that white girl. That white girl shit. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um yeah, uh, just so everybody else has a little context. I mean, obviously, Levi's a big-time coke dealer, allegedly. Uh, Levi works on drug dealer time. <laughs> I didn't know this. First. If, if you know what I'm talking about, this is when somebody says, yeah, bro, I'm on my way, five minutes. I'm going to be there in five minutes. 20 minutes later, you, you calling this dude back. Like, hey, brother, I thought, hey, no disrespect, I thought you was like five minutes away. My bad, bro. I'm right around the corner. I, I hit I hit a little trouble. I'm right around the corner. <laughs> Bang. Hour later. Hey, bro. I, what happened, Matt? <laughs> so, what, so what actually happened, Levi? Because when, when you got out of the car, there were conflicting stories, which does usually happen when you're hiding a drug smuggling ring. So please inform me of what's going on in your life. Not talking to you. Talking to her. Wow. Do you know... The exact, El Chapo over do you here. know the exact <laughs> thought I had when sitting in pizza waiting for that pizza was holy shit. I told Justin 10 minutes. Five. And, and 15 minutes has gone. 15 minutes has gone by. Okay, you were only in Pizza Hut for like 10 minutes. So <laughs> what was the other five, <laughs> Levi, is what I I'm wondering. What, to drop, pizza hut. what I drops did you make on the way but is I, what I'm wondering. Who did you meet? I told him five minutes when we were... 10 minutes away from pizza hut. yes that's correct so and then you waited in pizza hut for so 10 more minutes and that was 10 minutes i home, had this so. exact thought and i thought oh my god kodak's gonna message me or call me and be like yo where are you at and i'd be like oh five minutes we're almost there and then he comes out with this. so one of three <laughs> things is happening now and either way i need to be out of levi's life so either he's moving major weight <laughs> Which I just can't be a part of. Uh, number two, he, I forgot, he's just a liar. <laughs> Which is probably more likely, and y'all know I can't be around that. So, those are two good reasons to just kick you out of my goddamn life at this point. So, unless you have a legitimate reason, or maybe even an apology. <laughs> We might be able to move on, but until that happens, an apology. Thumbnail. <laughs> uh, first of all, what's you, up, El Chapo? You can blame the lady. What's up, Narcos? At Pizza Hut. Oh, the third thing was either he's those two things or he's a government informant, which y'all know I can't be around that because he's a snitch and they will get a stitch. Bro. So what's up? What happened? Tell me. What drops were you making? Who were you talking to? Or were you just a liar? The lady at Pizza Hut was backed up. So I need to go see the bitch at Pizza Hut is what you're saying. Yeah. And you know what? You can go see the bitch at Pizza Hut in fucking 10 minutes from here. Not the one two minutes down the street because you want to know what happens to the one two minutes down the street? This has happened multiple times. I'm fucking going off now. I went off last night. Meg's got mad at me, but I'm going off now. <laughs> Our pizza huts, I don't know about York, but Mechanicsburg, they close for maintenance two hours before they're supposed to close. So a month, a couple weeks ago, Meg's calls the pizza hut local to us two minutes down the street, says, hey, what time do you guys close? They said, oh, Eight o'clock. We're like, okay, we go to order a pizza. Six forty-five, seven o'clock. They're closed for maintenance. Fine, we let it go. <laughs> then what happens then? Last night, okay, she's like, I'm in the mood for pizza. I said, 
I'm not. I'm getting something else. Mm. I said, let's call both places. It's six o'clock now. It's a Sunday. We have to now factor Sunday hours, COVID hours. I'm getting fired up. And mystery hours. Mm. We call this pizza mystery hut. Mystery hours. We call <laughs> this pizza hut at 615. Low buddy on the phone says, uh, I don't know, uh, eight o'clock. And we're like, okay, cool. Thanks. So we make a plan. Seven, six forty-five rolls around. Six forty-five, seven o'clock. We're gonna order our food, so we're not within the last hour, and we're still in the time to do it on the apps. Because you know the apps, the apps say they're closed an hour before they are because it's fucking weird, and that's what we do on fucking DoorDash now. So we go on at six forty-five on all of our apps. I order my dinner. It goes through. Meg's orders hers. Locations closed. I call. Maybe with the blah, blah, blah button real quick. Blah, blah, blah. I call <laughs> the pizza at 645. I get their call center. It's some lady. She says, oh, this location's closed for maintenance. The call center. Bitch. At the call. is Now, is this the pizza 10 minutes away or is this the call center? Well, because, because, no, because our. So, because the one two minutes away is dealing with all this bullshit. Now you got to no. go to the one 10 minutes away. No, they're not dealing with bullshit, bro. They they're shut they're off, putting y'all they, through bullshit. They shut off all their happening. shit. They shut okay, off. I'm getting real fired up. So what happens then 10 minutes away at the 10, 10 minutes away pizza? So then she says, oh, I'm sorry. Your, your location's closed for maintenance. And I say, okay, which one's open? Bitch. And she says the one in Camp Hill. I said, great. I'll go there because that one's 10 minutes away. Still easy drive. I said, and okay, what happened? Let me place an order for delivery. She says, Oh, unfortunately the camp hill doesn't deliver to your location. So now I have to go pick so it up. So you gotta go pick it up. So now I have to go pick it up. <laughs> when my pizza hut is supposed to be open till eight, it's now six forty five and I can't get a fucking pizza. I'm done. I'm fired up. Wrap it up. I gotta go talk to these pizza hut people. But it was the best pizza hut pizza I've ever had at the location that was further away, so it was worth it. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode. Let me let thank you guys for listening to another episode of the What Are We Doing podcast. Justin's pissed off. He's driving to Pizza Hut right now. It's pro it's ten thirty nine, so none of them are open. They're closed. Go to what are we doing pod dot com backslash links. You're gonna be able to watch, listen, subscribe, join, buy merch, join our Patreon, do everything you need. What are we doing? Pod.com backslash links. It's on the screen. It's in the description. It's in the notes. You can see, you can click on it. It's done, dude. Thank you guys so much. It's been another episode. We'll see you next time. Megs hit the, the second button there. The new outro thing. I don't even know if we're keeping it, but click it anyways. When searching for a podcast, you're looking for people who know what they're doing. Know what they're doing. But we're different. Bucking the system. What are we doing? What are we doing? 